So Peter, we are so happy that you came to France for the Wisha Fest. Thank you very much. Um, maybe just to start, could you say a few words about yourself? Yes, I'm British originally um, from London and mm -hmm. I've moved to Switzerland over 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, my background is fairly conventional business, but I've become quite unconventional in business and okay. I, my, my passion in life has been for the last more than 30 years to create love in business, my purpose. Mm -hmm. And I've designed and um, built some strong, I hope, I think, I know, tools to help accelerate the processes for what I call transvolution, mm -hmm. which is transformation in harmony with evolution for the purpose of coming to the solutions of the world of the big problems that we're facing today. I was about to say the world's problems, okay. but it probably is the sort of problems everybody's talking about nowadays, like climate change mm -hmm. and, and, um, and inequality. And my tools are working on an individual level with individual human beings, which is where I believe it needs to start with the inner mm -hmm. work, because when we do an, the inner work, individually then more collectively mm -hmm. this is, has to be the basis of um, of the future systems on the outside okay great and you just did a session at the wish fs and could you tell us a few words about it what what is about and what did you discuss with uh, the other <coughs> person that went on the round table so the main theme in the discussion was one which is provocative, mm -hmm. which is around the subject of hierarchy. Mm -hmm. So um, my research um, into organization, and I call myself at one, in one way an organizational architect, architect mm -hmm. has shown that all organizations actually, all human created organizations as well as nature, have a what we call a hierarchy, mm -hmm. which the etymology, the or origin of the word is actually sacred order. Yeah. And many people in a fest like Wisha, in the more modern or postmodern organizations, like to believe that there's no leader and that everything is self-organizing. Mm -hmm. and, um, and that hierarchies shouldn't or don't exist. And um, my observation in the last years of my research is that this is creating a lot of problems for them. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's a different kind of hierarchy than people are really resisting. It's not about having power over other people, which is the case in the more traditional, conventional organizations coming out of the industrial age. It's power through mm -hmm. and with other people. And, um, so I have an organization and my goal is that everybody has power. It's not that anybody has to suppress their power because nobody should have power or some should have more power than others, but some do have more power than others, it's natural. Mm -hmm. But everybody should be, as far as I'm concerned, at the limit of their power or growing their power. I want to see power grow, not diminish. Okay. And would you have, a, um, like, were there one or two points that have been mentioned? that were key points uh, for you during during this conference and also in relation with the long long term long term thinking and the time that is the subject of the wish of us how did you connect it uh, long term thinking with the topic of your round table so so there was a lot of questioning to me about the source principles which were in terms of being put out as principles like are new for many people because people are trained and we're indoctrinated mm -hmm. into a particular system of management which is related to the industrial era and was very, very successful for the industrial era. So in presenting my themes on what I call source principles, there were quite a number of questions on that, particularly, for example, on the fact that every every initiative and project, there's only one source, there's only one person, mm -hmm. and not co-founders. Okay, so and you don't believe in co-founders or what's... Not in the sense that people tend usually to mean it. Okay. And I was asked questions around this, including 
if there's only one source, when when two part when in a relationship, one person kisses another, who is the source? Okay. And for those that are watching and want to know the answer, the source is the person who takes the first risk. So the source of the relationship, mm -hmm. uh, you know, were you kissed first or did you take the risk mm -hmm. to kiss? And it, the same applies to a business partnership. So um, that's what came out of this session. And you had another question, which was? Uh, how is a long term? Um, the, long, the relationship to the yes. long term. So the source principles mm -hmm. are what I call perennial. They've always existed. I haven't invented anything new. Mm -hmm. These are principles that I res just described, researched, developed in terms of producing a description. Mm -hmm. What people have always done when to make things work, when work works in terms of collaborating together. Okay. So in this sense, they're going to continue for the long term, mm -hmm. but it's important for people to know them right now, because we have been, for 350 years, been so conditioned to collaborate in another kind of way, which is an align, like an align production, where we have had a job, a defined job, and we've received a half-created material product put in front of us, we do something to it, and then we pass it on. Mm -hmm. And that's what people automatically think of when they think of collaboration. But collaboration for the future is very different. The collaboration between creative people needs to work in other ways. And this is what my source work actually describes, how this happens, the order in which this happens, and how it works when it really works. Okay. And I, usually, I ask the last question, would, what would be the last word you would like to give to the participants? But in this case, I would like to Focus a bit more. Would you have a last word for the participants that are part of collectives like we share, like Make Sense, that have been sharing the round table yeah. as well with you uh, today? Yes, I'd like to uh, acknowledge and recognize Antonin, who is the source of We Share for what he has created in the world. And um, I know that he is no longer active, though he, I think he is somewhere around mm -hmm. here. But what one should know and what everybody should know that if you create an initiative, you are 100% responsible for it. Mm -hmm. So everything good that is happening in WeShare, one can ascribe to Antona, and everything that is not working or working badly, one can ascribe to Antona. <laughs> but I'd like to acknowledge <laughs> that it looks, at least today, it looks pretty good. <laughs> that's true. And, and if there's anything that still needs to happen, mm -hmm. don't try and do it yourselves. Make sure that you go back to him, because without him developing further, you can't resolve any of the other questions. This is how, how things actually work. So I hope, Antona, hello, I hope <laughs> you see this uh, video and you like it and you enjoy it, and congratulations on your great creation here. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ha, 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 ha.